Oh, hey folks, this is uh, going to be today's lecture. And uh, I had a phone call uh, last night around this time uh, from MJ. And uh, MJ is a far leftist who somehow believes that he's a rightist. And um, he's just so politically, um, it, it, you know, illiterate that, it, you know, he has to stick to his business. He's good at that, you know what I mean? But as far as getting into anything else, he's completely like a duck out of water. But anyways, what I wanted to tell you is I want to explain to you uh, the shuck and the jive here, okay? And it's important that you listen. And I have to be very, very careful with this because this is where you go bye-bye for a week two weeks or you go bye-bye and you go to your seventh channel you understand because that's my sacrifice to you people you just don't realize that there are a couple people here my subscribe they know that they know that and the sad reality is it's going to take time it's gonna take time but whether it's two years or 18 months or seven years or 28 years doesn't matter you will all believe and know what I know and other people that know like me I, I happen to be different because I'm the full package like Lex Luger used to say from the W uh, from the NWA when he started out he was the whole package he had the lowest body fat of any wrestler he wasn't just a wrestler he wasn't just muscular he was the total package and that's kind of like me on this issue because no one else will tell you. They all have different levels of belief, okay? And the, the ones that really don't have any belief probably aren't educating themselves. They're just relying on the fact that they're right. And I don't do that. I look, what is the problem? Just like I told you in 2018, I told you that I thought we were gonna go into law. Do you understand? And I knew that something was going to happen. I, I knew if we, I knew if something wasn't done to keep the extreme left in check, that something was going to happen. I didn't realize it was going to be this and the the two and a half year thing. But you have to understand something, folks. A lot of you are ignoramuses. You don't. My subscribers excluded, of course. I add that quickly. Just because you see people of a respected profession in a, in, a, in a place where they give you help does not mean that they are not extreme leftists. And that's important. A lot of you folks don't understand this. You don't believe they're capable of the kind of evil. And they are. And they may be doing it on purpose or they may be doing it because they don't know any better. This coming from a man in a tank top and some shady tattoos, okay? So I want you to listen to this, and I can't even show you because this is how you go bye-bye, okay? And I have to cut this because it's so dangerous for me to tread upon this. But you have the right to know. Because we don't actually know how many of uh, Sorry, folks. I'm going to put it on pause. Uh, folks, I'm going to have to be very, very careful about this, but I want you to listen. And what they're talking about, uh, sorry, folks, I have to make sure that this is running. What they're talking about is that these, um, these um, documents uh, that are coming in are revealing some real problems uh, with certain things, okay? And number one, it's not completely the people's fault, the American people or the, the European people or whatever, that, or the people of the world. It's not really our complete fault because there are hindrances that get in our way for trying to find this out. And that's not a conjecture. That's fact. Uh, there is a great cheerleading push and... If you watch this, and I will link this video for you, but I certainly can't show it to you. It is on YouTube. Uh, the channel is called Redacted. And uh, what they are talking about 
And I can't even play it because if I play it, I'm just going to get my channel busted again. So I'll leave the link for you and I want you to watch it. It's important. It's why you need to come here and you need to come here every day. Because if you don't, you're going to wind up being lost. All it takes is the slightest amount of belief. The slightest amount. And you're doomed. That's why you come here to this channel every day. Because I know it's very, very difficult for you people to understand this. But once you start seeing what's in this video, even though the woman is so uh, ditzy and stupid, uh, that it's ridiculous. This isn't the first crap I've heard out of this woman. Uh, there's been others. I won't get into it. But once you start reading this, once you start reading and learning this information, you cannot be the way you have been. It's up to me to teach you that you're a dirty, dumb douche. That's the problem. How many people want to discover that they're a dirty, dumb douche? None. That's the answer. The truth, once you fess up and understand that you are a dirty, dumb douche. You are no longer a dirty, dumb douche, and you can get on with your life as a smart person. Now, I'm gonna link this video. I'm not even gonna play one thing as much as I want to. Now, you don't have to listen to it all the way. You can only listen, you can only, you only have to listen to about maybe three or four minutes, and you can get the gist of this. And you ask those questions like I am, because in the future, we will find out. You understand? It will come out. So all this monkey business with emergencies, because as you know, when you looked out, I saw a lot of people dying, didn't you? They were falling down. The people were dead. I mean, it was all over the place, right? That's why you would do something and risk people's lives for an experiment because it was so bad that people were falling down, dying right in front of you, huh? Right? Sorry, folks. Sorry, folks. You're not gonna sell it to me. You're not gonna sell it to me. You check out this video and understand. And I'm only gonna show you one thing. And I told you something, what a fucking douche. Speaking of douches, these uh, fucking people that get a horn that I can't wait to try out their new loud annoying horn. Fucking idiots. So what I want to do is I want to show you this and I'm going to close the video here now. I'm going to put it on pause and I'm going to show you something frightening because a lot of you people did not believe me when I told you about Nuremberg. But most of you don't understand what that is. Some of my um, some of my subscribers do know what it is. A lot of them do. Uh, but mostly people don't. And there was an accountability. There's an accountability after World War II. The accountability was the fact that they gave orders to do something and the people did it. And they were held responsible because they knew it was wrong. And there was no choice in the matter for the people who were the victims. There was no choice. Much like this. It's a little different because there was coercion, severe coercion. And that will be the difference. That will be up to the people that understand minutia, as in coercion and what it is and how it differs. And I already told you from forcing somebody, like I told you, in the Philippine languages, in, in Tagalog, in Tagalog, there is no word for coercion. Go look for yourself. It just simply says forced. You understand? Folks, when you come here, you are going to learn from the best. Okay? But I want you to go to this redacted video, and I'm going to show you one final thing. Because a lot of you thought that when I told you that there would be a great reckoning for the boys in blue, I want to show you something. Stand by. Uh, folks, I found this. Um, this is a person here who, in my opinion, is nothing but a plant 
or he's so stupid that he doesn't qualify as anything. Okay, it's one of the two. Uh, another mindless Brit that doesn't belong anywhere except, in my opinion, in jail. That's my opinion. Okay, that's my opinion. Now, I'm going to read you some of these things. All they are are comments. Okay, and I'm going to read them to you verbatim. And I want you to see for people like what is the real truth? For people who really believe themselves to be really, really smart. There's nothing wrong with being real smart. Just investigate things before you believe in them and make yourself look foolish. Everyone will believe as I do in time because the information is being, shall we say, in a place where it's hard to find. Do you understand that? That's by design, in my opinion. Okay? Now, I will read this to you. Politicians around the world, this is John Smith speaking now for this uh, comment. Politicians around the world should be held accountable for the thing that went on for two and a half years and this. Um, Crypto Buddha says, and he got 127 thumbs up. If the Nuremberg laws were to be enacted for anything, this would be it. I'm in complete agreement. And a lot of you people do not understand that I was being serious. A lot of you don't think that I'm being serious when I told you that I need to go to police officers and I need to make sure that I get them on video to help them because that's what I do. I try to help and that's what we need to do. We need to get the police officers in front of cameras and video cameras and let them express their need to say that they will do anything, including busting somebody's jaw or anything else to comply. But on the other hand, you have to make sure that you get them to protect themselves. You have to make sure you have them on video saying that uh, they would never carry out this kind of order. That's very, very important. And once you see what the game is, you realize what is happening. That's how you know that you will believe as I do very shortly. Because when the police get put in an unwinnable situation, that's when you know it's over. It's over. It's just a matter of time, folks. It's very shortly. You will all believe as I do when it starts to reveal itself. Right now, you're too dim-witted with your hubris. You're too smart. Let's continue on. A lot of you don't know what Nuremberg was. It was making the people who made other people suffer and die uh, uh, with their acts of sadism uh, in a place in Europe in 1940s, 30s and 40s. They were held accountable in 19, what was it, 46? They were held accountable. And a lot of people were... <laughs> You understand? And they were just following orders. You think I'm kidding you? I'm not kidding you. Um, another one, uh, Pretty Brown Eyes says, it doesn't matter, they will still lie about it and cover it up. They already have rewrote the side effects. I agree, as well as uh, Big Pharma, the, f the fact that they were aware of the side effects and never mentioned it and it's now coming out I feel that they should definitely be held accountable do you see what's happening folks yeah this isn't uh, CBS ABC CNN or whatever you're talking about reality now not your fake wannabe garbage to make you feel like your hubris right here your hubris is real real smart it, folks you have no idea how incompetent and foolish and dirty, filthy you are. My subscribers excluded. You don't know. You're all going to come around. But that's if everybody sees what I see. Which is not likely sometimes I think. I want you to read this because I'm going to close it here, right here. What does this say right here? Uh, 
uh, my phone is wigging out. Sorry, folks. Hang on. Um, my phone is uh, wigging out. Hold on. That's what happens. Okay, right here. Sorry, folks. Sorry it took so long. I want you to read that statement right there. Do you see that? Uh, hanged for crimes against humanity. And I will read it for you. All of them and the ones that enforced it right down to the police. You read it right there and there's 71 people with thumbs up. If you think for a minute that I'm some kind of a fucking jerk off retard that you think somehow because I've got tattoos, poor tattoos on my arms and I'm wearing a tank top, you think for a second that I'm not right and you can take your stupid hubris and say he's a jerk off you're about as dumb as you're dumber you don't even qualify for intelligence that's not the way it works do you understand what the point I'm trying to make folks you need to keep it here on this channel and I'm gonna put the link for this and you know what I'm gonna do I'm not gonna put the link you know why because you can get busted for that too so I'm gonna to have to tell you right now okay um, I want you to go to a channel called redacted R E D A C T E D redacted you're going to look for the video which is 24 minutes and 56 seconds and they talk about um, the uh, this thing right here the big one you understand um, uh, I, I can't even find anything. You know, like a miser. You know what a miser is? It's something that rhymes with that word. And that's what you're going to see up on the video. It's going to be like a miser. You know, somebody that doesn't want to give money. And it's going to rhyme with that. You look for that video right there. And it is from four months ago, I believe. I will take a look at it right now. Let me put the sound down. Because I want to have no problems with this. Because I'm tired of going bye-bye. It is from... Sorry, folks. I'm sorry I'm running late on this. It is from... Oh, come on. Give me a fucking break here. Uh, now he's asking me for money. I'm not giving you money. Sorry. It's from like four months ago. It's from like, I think, uh, February or March. Uh, my phone is wigging out, so I don't want to wind up sending uh, $3,000 to somebody here. Uh, for some whatever. Take care, folks. Please subscribe and learn. You only have to learn that you're a douchebag for a little while. And once you're here, you're not going to be a douchebag. We don't have douchebag subscribers here. We don't. We have smart people. Goodbye.